Adenocarcinoma of the pancreas, which we call pancreas cancer, is the fourth leading cause of cancer death in North America. The actual survival rate for pancreatic cancer is dismal. It's, it's about five to seven percent at five years. I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer three years ago. When you're told you have something that is a killer, uh, you're in a whirl. Uh, it's very uncharted waters and you're looking for information, you're looking for people who are caring and considerate, and I got it here. The Wallace McCain Center for Pancreatic Cancer is within the Princess Margaret Cancer Center and the University Health Network in downtown Toronto. The overall aim is to improve the outcomes for these patients with this devastating disease by bringing together an expert, multidisciplinary, clinical care plan, the best there is, all the while in parallel with access to very innovative research. We have a ro robust uh, interprofessional team within the McCain Center, which includes oncologists, nursing, allied health, including social work and dietitian. Referrals are uh, quickly uh, triaged by myself and the oncologist uh, working in the clinic. Patients are usually offered an appointment within five working days. I came into their program and the first decision had to be made and it was made within uh, nine days of diagnosis. I was a good candidate for the surgery so I had it. We're offering surgery to patients where the vein or the artery may be involved. And when you do that, the risks of the operation go up. We're fortunate because in our center, we have a wealth of experience in dealing with arteries and veins, in large part because we have um, one of North America's largest transplant centers. So we're very familiar with that kind of process. After surgery, uh, patients continue to struggle with fatigue and some symptoms including low appetite, pain and nausea and vomiting. You present a question to your oncologist but you get your answer back from a dietitian or from somebody else who's the expert in the field and it's a seamless kind of thing. I had surgery, uh, 18 sessions of chemotherapy and was declared cancer free. We know the survival of uh, pancreatic cancer, although improving over time, is limited. And planning for the future is important, and that includes advanced care planning. Last year, uh, came back and they determined the cancer had returned. It was not curable, uh, but they would help me modify my lifestyle to deal with it and gone about my life as if I didn't have pancreatic cancer and it just slowed down. Pancreatic cancer is a type of cancer that spreads very rapidly throughout the body. So despite very good localized therapies, real impact on patient survival will come from better drug therapy. So that's where our focus is. A typical patient in the McCain Clinic will get offered an option for, for a research question pretty much at any stage of their, of their disease. For example, uh, we're very focused on trying to uh, integrate chemotherapy prior to surgery in particularly high-risk patients. We also have a very strong interest in what we call hypoxia research and trying to leverage the areas of a tumor in the pancreas cancer that is low in oxygen and may be vulnerable to particular drug therapies when chosen properly. Another large focus of our research is our COMPASS trial. What we're doing specifically with the COMPASS trial is offering patients the ability to have their uh, tumor genomes sequence very rapidly so that we can look at the unique aspects of their genome and how it responds to chemotherapy, but also more excitingly, how we can possibly select uh, new specific treatments based on their specific uh, tumor genome. The quality of the research samples is extremely important as the data that is generated from translational studies will or can be used to change medical practice. We have to ensure that the tumor cells are studied in a way that we can minimize the amount of normal contaminant DNA and RNA for study. COMPASS is the pillar of our translational research initiative that involves 
the active patients in real time. We have other basic science projects trying to understand why this disease is so devastating in the first place. We would like to understand why pancreatic cancer is so aggressive and how it's different from other cancers. A lot of the changes that happen on DNA that we see in cancer in general happen slowly over time. But in pancreatic cancer, a lot of those changes actually come all at once. By figuring this out, we're hoping to identify vulnerabilities that we can one day use to target the disease. The word is out that we're providing uh, a high level of care, so we expect to have more referrals. In fact, we've seen a consistent growth over the past uh, few years, and we, we know that we'll see improved outcomes and treatments for the patients because we're offering uh, this unique research program. They've been very caring, very professional, very compassionate, but I'm enjoying life. And I put it down to the kind of support I've received at the McCain Center. It's in our culture at the McCain, to try to optimize everything that we can do to make things better for the patient, plan realistically, and also give hope. I think McCain sets itself apart as a world leader in the care of pancreatic cancer.